place it and chase it. Okay, what made you want to get into physical therapy? Um, I always knew that I wanted to do something in the medical field and something to help people. And when I first started at Franklin O. Marshall, you know, my mom had sort of mentioned this field of physical therapy. I work with people with neurological injuries, mainly patients with spinal cord injuries, and I help them learn how to do daily activities, maybe in a different way than they did before they were injured, but in a way that they can improve their independence and improve their quality of life. McGee is one of the 16 regional spinal cord centers in the country. We are also one of the eight neurorecovery network centers. We get patients that travel here and come and stay and relocate in order to get the therapy that we provide here. And I think a lot of times when you think about physical therapy, people tend to think about the sports or orthopedic population and you don't always think about the neurologic population or the changes that you can make in someone's life after they've suffered a stroke or a brain injury or a spinal cord injury. That's it. See if you can help use lefty to hold it there. Perfect. And now use that right hand to push that leg out. There you go. Okay. <laughs> that was great. It's definitely good. You want to try it one more time? Sure. Alright, all the way down. So we saw history today? You did. You, you witnessed history. First time back in the bed. That's right. Laying down and getting back up. Today's a good day. I graduated from Franklin and Marshall in 1998. I was in the pre-healing arts track, which I always found interesting that it wasn't a college that called it pre-med. I thought it was great that they called it pre-healing arts, which was to encourage others to think outside the box of just med school. I mean, I think a lot of the skills that I learned when I was at Franklin and Marshall carry over to the things that I do today. You know, the way that I relate with patients and a lot of the teaching skills that we have to do with patients and their family members and dealing with sometimes some bad news and I think I really had a good foundation from when I was at Franklin and Marshall. We never put anything in sort of definitive terms. Like, we'll have patients whose doctors told them, you'll never walk again, and then I have them walking. Even patients who have an injury where the research, it's very likely that they won't walk, I never say that they won't. There's always a chance. We don't know. And we don't know right now when there might be a cure for paralysis. Good. Yep. Smiling? Absolutely. Always.